everybody, it's Librarian Faith from the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. And today, I'm going to show you how to do a braided paper bookmark two ways. Let's get started, shall we? You'll just need four things in order to make this project. First, you'll need a pair of scissors. You want these to be nice and sharp. You don't want any dull blades creating scraggly edges. Then, you'll need some strips of paper. Now, I've gone ahead and cut just some regular eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper in half inch wide strips. It doesn't matter if you cut it on the eight and a half or on the 11 side of things, just as long as all of them are the same length. If you cut them on the eight and a half side, your bookmark will be a little bit shorter. If you cut it on the 11 side, it'll be a little bit longer. Next, you'll need some regular scotch tape. This is mostly used as a stabilizer to make sure that the pieces of paper don't shift around. And last but not least, and this is technically optional, you'll also want some pretty washi tape. I'm using it in a matching color with my paper. To start off, you'll want to select three pieces of paper in complementary colors. I recommend using three completely different colors. It makes the braid pattern show up a little bit better when we're finished. Then, have two line up at the very top with the 90 degrees corners meeting. You want it to be pretty precise. Then you'll take some of that stabilizing scotch tape and line it up. Lifting your two pieces of paper up and folding it back over. Doesn't matter if there's any leftover up top because once we're finished, we're going to trim off the top edge. Then you'll go ahead and line that third piece of paper up. Just like the other one, trying to keep that 90 degree edge sharp. I'll put another stabilizing piece of scotch tape. Lift up those pieces of paper and fold it on over. And now we have our base set. We have the three pieces of paper, two on one side, one on the other. If you want, you can add an additional strip on this side. You'll want to position it with it being under the hot pink one on this side and over the light pink, about like this. And it'll create a slightly wider bookmark. One thing to note, if you do this though, this was my initial prototype. <laughs> You can see it's easy to start going a little bit cattywampus when you do four of them. It's easier to keep make a straight bookmark if you just do the three. So that's what we'll be doing. Plus it's a little bit easier to keep track in your head. Now, you'll want to fold the farthest most piece of paper to the inside. And you'll want to do your best to line everything up. nice and snug against that other piece of paper. See how you can't see any of the tablecloth peeking through? That means that it's perfect. And then you'll just smush it down with your finger. I recommend using your fingernail to just gently push along that seam to make sure it's fully flat. Then you'll keep repeating that, taking the outermost slip of paper and bending it over. so that it's perfectly snug with that opposite strip of paper. Oop. Don't mind that part, I got a little bit of dirt on it from a previous project. It helps if you do it on a clean table. Now we'll keep doing this over and over again until we've run out of paper. Taking that outermost strip, lining it up snug with the adjacent piece of paper and pressing it down. Now I chose the colors that I chose because I'm going to use it in the books I read for the Mandel Public Library's new book club, the Sweethearts Book Club. This is a project librarian Antoinette and I are excited to start. We wanted to read new romances and explore the different romance subgenres 
as well as read some more inclusive romances. Each month, we'll read a story focusing on an LGBTQ plus or person of color romance and one of romance's subgenres. This month, on September 10th, we'll be reading a modern rom-com. If you want to join in with the fun, the Zoom link will be available on our Facebook page. I hope you come this month. Okay, and that's the last one. Got a little cattywampus on that, but oh well. We'll put that stabilizing piece of scotch on the bottom and just cut straight across. And up the side when needed. Then we'll do the same for the top. Just find the right line. I'm actually gonna cut a little bit lower so I can get rid of that dirt spot. Whoopsie. And cut straight across. Gonna put another thing of stabilizing scotch at the top. Now we're gonna do the last part and just put a little bit of washi tape at the top. You wanna line it up nice and straight with that top edge. Gently tap it down. Keep it lined up with the top edge and keep folding it over. And we're done. We've made an adorable little braided bookmark. Now you can do this in whatever colors you'd like, but it only takes a minute and it makes something super adorable. Now if you'd like, you can leave the bookmark looking just like this, or you can style the bookmark another way. You'll want to take a book. This is one I borrowed from the children's department. You still love this series. And you'll take a good chunk of pages and you'll line it up with your bookmark. Now. Since everything we did was at a 90 degree angle, this part is relatively easy to do. You'll put it in the corner and you'll line it up with the lines of the paper and bend it over. And then you'll bend over the other one. See how some of the colors are even lining up? Nice and straight. We'll do a little strip for the stabilizing scotch tape right up and down the middle, and you'll peel it off. And we have this little tip of the top corner. Then, you'll use the pretty washi tape and line that up with the middle of your bookmark. And you'll trim it along the corner at the top. Then you'll trim again so you get a straight line going across the bookmarks. There you go. And we'll do another band of washi tape along the top. And there we go. Now we've made it into a corner bookmark. So wherever your look pages in your book, just flip to it, stick this in the top corner, and there you go. Place saved. And it looks pretty adorable if I say so myself. I hope you enjoyed my braided bookmark two ways tutorial. Be sure to tune in next week and give a look at the Sweethearts Book Club. We might just read something you'll love. Until next week, happy reading.